Hi, this is part five of the Sword and Spear video guide and in this video I'm going to talk about shooting. So using some of the same figures I've used in the previous videos, so we've got Sa Normans facing Saxons here and we've got two units here that can shoot. We've got the Norman crossbowmen and they've been allocated an action dice of a four allowing them to shoot and we've got the Saxon archers here, they've been given a dice of a five which allows them to shoot or if they want shoot and move. Okay, so we're just going to work through how the shooting happens. So when shooting, units can only shoot at a target that is within range and within arc. So if we look at the light foot here, their range is four distance units. So we can put this four distance unit stick here to see their range and they must shoot at a target straight ahead. So that means directly in front of them. So even though the Norman Knights over here are within four distance units, and not straight ahead. So as it stands, the light foot don't have a target to shoot at. There's nobody straight ahead of them in a rectangle extending their front for distance units. So what the light foot would have to do if they want to shoot at the knights, for example, is to move and then shoot. So given an action dice higher than their discipline rating, they can move and shoot. So for example, they could move to here, putting the knights within their arc, straight ahead of them within four distance units and then shoot. If we have more than one unit within arc, so let's say these light foot were here and the situation like that, they would have to shoot at the nearest unit. So in this situation here, the light foot would have to shoot at the Norman Spearman. They couldn't choose to shoot at the Norman Knights because the Norman Spearman are closer. So shooting is only straight ahead up to the range of the unit. It is possible to shoot at a longer range if you have a bonus dice. So, for example, let's say our knights here are just outside our four distance unit range. With a bonus dice of a six, we could actually, instead of giving it an extra dice for shooting, we could choose to give that bonus dice as an extra DU of range. So in this case, we could shoot at the knights as they're within five DU if we had a bonus dice, an action dice showing a six allocated to them. When you're shooting, you need to use some combat dice, and the base number of dice you roll is equal to the strength of the unit. So our normal crossbowmen here are strength 3, and the Saxons are also going to roll some dice. They're being shot at, they're strength 4, they're heavy foot strength 4, so they're going to roll 4 dice. So you roll a number of dice equal to the strength of the unit. So we both sides roll the dice, so the Saxon, the Norman crossbowmen roll their dice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. They get three sixes. It's very good shooting. Okay, so that could do some serious damage here. The Saxon player rolls their dice, and they get a six, a four, a three, and a one. Now what we do, we line up the dice opposite each other in ascend, in, sorry, in descending order. So our highest first, and then going down, and we compare them in pairs. So our first pair here was a draw. Our second pair, the Normans of 1, 6 to 4, and our third pair, our Normans of 1, 6 to 3. We look at each pair in turn, and there will be a, an outcome as a result. Uh, we don't have to look at an extra dice here. Now, if the Saxons had won any of these dice pairings, it wouldn't matter. There'd be no effect on the Normans, because the Normans are shooting. In combat, the same process is used, but obviously either side can win. So, 6 against 6, nothing happens. 6 against 4, now the Normans have beaten the Saxons there, but not doubled them. If you're beaten but not doubled, you take a discipline test. On this one here, they are doubled, so that is an automatic hit. Okay, so the Saxons would have one hit and one discipline test near. Now, however, the Sax Saxons are shield wall, and normally if you're shield wall, that counts effectively as if you're armoured, as long as you are fresh, which means you haven't taken any hits at the moment. Normally the effect of armour is to allow the, um, the player with the armour to put one of the opposing winning dice down by one. But because the Normans are crossbowmen, crossbow ignores any armour. So they can't actually use their shield wall, it has no effect here. So the net result of that shooting is one automatic hit from the six against three and a discipline test from the six against four. So the Saxon player has to roll a discipline test, so he needs to roll his discipline or higher, four or higher, he rolls his dice and gets a two. So that's a failure, so that's another hit. 
So the net result was two hits, so we're going to take our two hit marker and put it behind the Saxon unit. They took two hits from that shooting. Obviously that was more effective than you would expect because of the three sixes rolled by the Norman player. That's particularly effective shooting. Okay, so that was the outcome from there. Then we're going to look over here at the light foot. So the light foot have a five, that's going to allow them to move and shoot or shoot then move. Most well, not, missile troops other than skirmishers could, can't shoot then move, but skirmishers can shoot then move or move then shoot. Now, we are within charge range of the Normans. Normans have already activated this turn, so we could shoot and stay here, but it's probably going to be wiser to shoot and then move backwards. Uh, now, as light foot strength two, the Saxon's going to roll two dice, and the Norman has strength three, cavalry strength three, so the Norman player's going to roll three dice. So the Saxon player rolls their two shooting dice and gets a five and a four. And the normal player rolls his dice and gets six, five, four. Again we line them up. And the, norm, the Saxon player has lost every one, so that shooting has no effect. Okay, so let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's look at it as if the Saxon had a six here. Now a 6 would give him a bonus dice, which he could choose to use for shooting, which would obviously be the sensible thing here. So he would then get 3 dice. So now we're going to redo this, assuming the Saxon has a bonus shooting dice, even though we'll have 3 dice for shooting, and we get 6, 4, 1, and the normal player is going to roll his 3 dice, and he gets 6, 3, 1. We line, again, we line them up, highest to lowest, and pair them off. So we can see it's a draw, the Saxon players won this one by one, and this one was a draw. However, the Norman Knights are armoured. That allows the Norman player to put one of these dice down by one. So we put this four down to a three, and therefore the shooting has no effect. So in this particular case, the armour of the Normans saved them from the effect of the shooting. So that's how shooting works. You roll a number of dice according to your strength, both sides roll dice, you pair them up and look at each pair in turn. If it is doubled, it's an automatic hit. If you've beaten the dice but not doubled it, it's a discipline test. You take the discipline test and then apply any hits. One more type of shooting that can happen is when a unit of medium foot is charged. So a unit of medium foot armed with missile weapons, as an example we've got these Norman crossbowmen here. And we have the Saxon Spearmen here, and they are within the two, two distance unit charge range. The Saxon Spearmen have a five on their action dice. The Norman Crossbowmen have a five on their action dice. And in this phase, let's assume the Saxons placed first, so they are going to move first with the five. So our Saxons are going to move into contact with the Norman Crossbowmen. So normally, the normal crossbowmen haven't shot first, so we would think they can't shoot. But when somebody charges the front of medium fur armed with missile weapons, they shoot before the combat takes place. So what would happen here, in the Saxons movement, we carry out the charge move and move them in. Then before the combat is resolved, we resolve a shooting. So the normal crossbowmen get to shoot at the Saxons before the combat is resolved. Then we resolve the combat as normal. So that's medium foot with an action dice allocated that are charged, can shoot before they are charged. And that's shooting. So next video we'll be looking at melee combat. Bye for now.